So what I'm going to do now is build this back crane part here. It'll be my next piece. So I'm going to go work on that right now. Most likely out of copper as well. And we'll see how it turns out. Piece by piece, you know. So there's the crane, the way I ended up with it. Uh, it's quite nice, got a little wooden bead coming up and down in here. I get a, see a wooden bead here for making it look a little thicker on top. This is just a wire bent around a nail and then brought up here to give it a little bit of a more mechanical look. Copper wire and just a little pin bent around as well, around a nail. And then some pins sticking out the side to give it that kind of um, detailed pivot look like you know, that you have on cranes. So, another piece done. Yeah, there's the model boat, plastic model boat light bulb and this is what I've made here and this is made out of uh, chopsticks so that's what they are they're not glued on yet they're still loose and let's get a tweezers here you take these off and you look underneath I put two eyelets under to make the stands for them now I'm going to go and glue them on and then I'm going to move on to some of these other bolts that I have to build which I most likely, if you see these ones, I most likely make a canopy over these. And these ones as well, so they have a canopy look. Because I'm not going to do the hollow look. So that's where I'm at. So I've got the cranes on. And I'm putting, getting these, these aren't stuck on, I'm just looking at how it looks. Some of the boats look a little bit larger when I do the right size. They look too big. And I had trouble with the light bolts in here getting them in. I'm a little tighter here than the original ship. And as you can see, this goes in here tight to that. I don't know why, but it, I suppose that's the way they did it. And I have these light bolts coming in. Now I've had to take these light bolts from the deck up here because they're this is in the way actually. I've something wrong with my design here. I put them off here a little bit to the side. A little bit of a modification, but you know, so far it's not too bad. I found this strip of tie outside the front door. Somebody was moving and dropped it or something. So I like it as vents. So it's gone on the side of the chimneys for air vents. And down here on this little pillar down here. And it's gone up in here in the mast. So just adding a few detailed kind of cool things that are more fun. I'm doing the winches up the front here. The uh, chain winches and bollards. You know, which will go in here later on. And even here I'm doing the chain winch, which I'm trying to work out still how it's going to look. I mean, they got to have a cool look, otherwise what's the point, you know? I like that at the moment, if you can see that. And there's uh, two back here as well that can go on. And then I got a couple of more little things. Maybe even a railing on it. We'll see. I can feel that I'm kind of in the detailed finishing phase, which is very nice. You know, we only have um, five or six days left in the lockdown. And it's going to ease up a bit, so that's nice. But um, I've been working on the detail. I want to finish this by the 11th. So I'll just show you what I've got right now. There you go. There she is. Let's go in a bit. Yeah, as you can see, I've got little planes on here. You see that? Oh, let's move that up a bit so you make sure you see it there. Got the little planes on. So the end of the plane, the prop is a safety pin cut off, and then put on a toothpick, a round toothpick, and then there's two pieces of cardboard, and then. See, the back of a lollipop stick, kind of like a lollipop stick. I don't know where I got them, but I just cut it off to make the fin of the plane. And I've done two of those, and there's another one up here, as you can see. So now I'm putting in these bollards here. I put in the pins. There are basically needles cut off, but I wanted to put plates underneath to give them some detail. 
because it's all going to be in the detail in the end. You can see it here if I turn it a bit, how they're coming along there. I have some more to do on this side. So there we go. And there's some more here. There. So we're getting there. It's beginning to look pretty nice. I've done some extra painting light. Painted the light bulbs two or three times white. The white was hard, it didn't cover very well. And what else have I done? I've touched up some places. And I'm just going to keep detailing like crazy. This is just a bit of tin with two holes. I take a template and drill through and just keep putting them on. See, I um, spaced my boards exactly with two sticks like this. See, so they're all the same. So when I go to make the plates, they're all the same as well. Kind of like a template. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I have some little touch-ups in here and the deck is a little bit blotchy, needs to be one color. But you know, I'm pretty pleased at the moment. So here's the uh, little plane. And as you can see, there is the propeller out of the safety pin, cardboard wings, toothpick, end of a little lollipop stick kind of thing, that's cardboard, and that's the stick as well down there as the skid, and cardboard and a little bit of balls of wood underneath, and there's another one here, there we go, so you can see it better. I'll most likely paint the um, little top of the propeller red to give it a little bit more kind of look of a plane. Maybe the planes will be a different color yet. So, I've glued down the bollard plates so they're fixed now. I put a little cabin on the plane, make it look a bit more authentic. I put the masts in with little holders, which are safety pins, and one soldered on here. And this one goes down into a hole in the deck and holds it up on top here, so it's quite stable. So I've been working on all this, and like another big thing today was doing these propellers. They're a little bent bent. I'll fix that in a minute. They're basically um, clothes hangers, piece of tin. It was cut out actually for dinky toys and I've cut them shorter and soldered on the end. And um, the uh, close hanger shaft, I pointed it so I drilled a hole in the boat and put a point on it and hammered them in so that they're fixed. Now with the rudder I had a bit more problems. I had to cut into the deck here a bit to get it in. This isn't exactly the same style as the original boat but it's close enough. And here I soldered, I hammered a pin down and then soldered it on so this thing is fixed, so everything's fixed. So we're getting there. I'm just actually, I'll put this out of the way a minute. And we go the right way of course again. I was just making the anchors. Here we are. And I'll zoom down on them for you. And basically uh, an end of a safety pin hammered flat and ground out, soldered on to pin, and then bent forward. A little bit of grinding in here to give a little bit of a U-shape. I've done three of them. The boat had three for some reason. So I'll put those on now and getting close. <laughs> 